Hey again, welcome back. Here is my recipe to make your own eye cream for day and before going to bed. It's for anyone who has dry skin, wrinkles, and wants to slow down the aging process. I'm about to turn 29, so skincare is extremely important daily routine. Most eye cream on the market are overpriced. They are usually creamy than face products, just in little tiny containers. Don't get me wrong, there are some neat ones at stores with special cell communicating ingredients that I personally can't come up with. but. I know what makes skin happy with my pharmacy background and improve appearance, so I make my own. Check out my eye gel video if you have dark circles and puffy eyes. These are the tools and materials I use. Click the link to my blog for where I purchase everything. Apply each ingredient to test if you're allergic or sensitive to, so you know what not to use. Skip the ingredients or I have some suggestions, so keep on watching. To make day cream, I use shea butter. If you're allergic to tree nuts, use mango butter for a creamy moisturizer to reduce fine lines, dark spots, and fight aging. Most eye creams do not contain sunscreen to block those bad UV rays that ruins our skin. So I add in sunscreen. You can also use moisturizer with SPF. You can skip this one if you're using face moisturizer, but I personally like using vitamin E cream because it helps prevent premature mature aging, skip it or use it, that's up to you. And this one you need is rose hip seed oil. It's a wonderful hydrator for dry and damaged skin and it does not have a greasy residue. This baby contains the vitamin A, one of the best vitamins out there for youthful and firmer skin. With a measuring spoon, I scooped about one teaspoon of shea butter. This naturally melts on our skin instantly. But I do need to mix this, so I turn my stove on to low heat with a heat safe cup. I'm using a hot plate. A stove will do with a cooking pot or use a microwave to heat it for 20 to 60 seconds. I melt the shea butter halfway like this, not all the way, and set it aside to cool down for about 10 minutes or so. In my lip balm container, you can also try a contact case. I add a quarter teaspoon of sunscreen, five drops of rosehip seed oil, one teaspoon of vitamin E cream or use your face moisturizer as a cream base, and pour the melted butter. Now use a popsicle stick or a stir stick and mix it well. The melted butter will eventually cool down to harden so that it combines all the ingredients together. This feels amazing on as it soaks into my skin within 5 minutes. That's your day cream. For my night cream, this is a rich, intense moisturizer so when I wake up, my eyes feel so soft, supple, and radiant. You will need evening primrose oil. I use this for my acne lately because it contains fatty acids that reduce inflammation. Not only that, it helps reverse signs of aging like fine lines and crow's feet. As my base, I added vitamin E cream. Again, you can substitute this with facial moisturizer. The last thing is a carrier oil. I use avocado. You can also try olive oil, coconut oil, and such. With avocado, it treats age spots and it gets into the deep layers of skin to moisturize better. It's amazing for my dry, over-dyed hair too. To make this more intensely creamy, I use shea butter. Just like how I showed you for my day cream, melt on low heat 1 teaspoon of shea butter or coconut oil or mango butter. Set it aside to cool down with a clean needle. I sprayed rubbing alcohol to sterilize before piercing one capsule of evening primrose oil into my jar. I want to make sure to avoid any bacteria growth over time and yeah just like that next thing i did i poured a quarter teaspoon of avocado oil once the shea butter has cooled down pour it into the container and mix make sure to mix well then set it aside to cool for 10 to 20 minutes until it looks like this solidify then mix until it has more of that lotion look to it then this is the time when oil can bind to cream. I use a half a teaspoon of vitamin E and mix it well until I get this thick whip eye cream. Once it's thick and whips, you can go ahead and try it out. These eye creams are good for 6 months before making a new batch. 
To apply, use a pea-sized dollop of cream for both eyes. I gently tap with my ring finger under my eyes and underneath the brows. Apply this after face moisturizer and eye gel if you need it. Always store all skincare products away from heat and light to get the best effective results. For my day eye cream, I let the cream soak into my skin for a few minutes before applying makeup. This will avoid foundation looking cakey or creasing. I hope you learned a lot from this and take care of your skin. Thank you so much for watching and listen to me babble about ingredients. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and make sure to check these out. Love ya!